Hey fellow fishers, my name's Roger Osborne. What I'm teaching you in this video today will absolutely transform your beach fishing regardless of where you live in the world. It's an incredible piece of fishing gold that very few people know about. But before we jump into it, make sure that you check out rogersfishing.com, Australia's newest online fishing community. Rogers Fishing is packed with a huge, ever-growing resource of step-by-step -step courses, instructional videos, live question and answer sessions with me, and loads more. Whether you're an absolute beginner or have been fishing for decades, there's something for everybody. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you think. In my many years of beach fishing, where I've been so many times I can't remember, I've actually never seen another fisherman burlying off the beach. And what I'm teaching you today is my own method. I like things to be simple, but deadly effective. So let's get into all the details. The power of burley. Just quickly, what is burley? Basically, it's putting some of your bait or food that the fish like into the water and allowing the current to disperse it and the fish begin to sniff it, smell it and they're attracted to the area that you're fishing. It's incredibly powerful. And when you're beach fishing, it's super important that where you burley, your burley is going into a rip current that is gonna carry that scent out and attract fish. I've found that when I'm at the beach, when you burley, it attracts small fish, little fish like mullet and bait fish. And then of course, those little fish attract big fish. And really that's what we want. So basically that's what burling is. So let's just consider the science around fish and their smell. Did you know that dogs actually have a sense of smell that depending on the breed, I'm not sure, but between 1,000 and 10,000 times a human's sense of smell. That's your typical canine. But fish take it to a whole new level. There are certain species of fish that can actually detect chemical odors in the water down to parts per million. That's a proven fact. So when you are actually putting beautiful flavors in the ocean to burley, those fish can certainly smell it especially when you consider how powerful their sense of smell is. This is my super simple burling system. I have a piece of PVC pipe. This is approximately a metre long or maybe a little bit longer. It's 40 millimetres in diameter and I've sliced the end off on a really sharp angle so that it can be stuck into the sand. So I've got my pipe this is just a very basic uh, fish keeper net. This is what the burley goes in. I have a length of rope, which is about four meters long, three, three or four meters long. And then I have a slab of pilchards. And I just want to give a massive shout out to Tweed Bait. Those guys have been so generous and I never even asked for anything just been really helpful. So here you've got your, your good oil, the source that attracts all the fish. Okay, so my method, I'm just gonna go through what I'm doing. I've got my keeper net here. Now I'm gonna grab my pilchards. These things are awesome because they just have such a great scent and the oils that come off them when, when it's breaking up in the surf is fantastic. Really, it actually attracts a lot of different fish. You name it, brim, flathead actually really respond. Mulloway, it's a big one for Mulloway. So I've got my pilchards in my bag there. Now I'm going to put a half hitch around the top of the bag to stop it from uh, coming out. You can see that's a half hitch. I'm gonna do another half hitch like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is I've got one end of my rope, it's just the end of the rope and I put that through the holes in the keeper net like so 
about that much and then I actually wrap it around here a couple of times and then I tie it off. You don't have to be a super knot guy, just a basic granny knot will do. So now I've got my rope tied off onto my keeper net. I mean how easy is this really? Then I'm going to go down and jab this into the water just on the edge of where the waves wash up and down because you need your burly being smashed by the waves and washed up and back so all those goodies go out into the rip. So I'm just going to go and do that now. The key strategy when you are burling off the beach is that you must position your burly correctly because you need to know exactly where your burly trail is going because you want to be able to have your baits where the scent and the burley is. So this is critical. When you're fishing, you need to read the beach, look at the currents. Sometimes you have a sideways current, which is running parallel to shore, which is not necessarily ideal. Other times you'll have a beautiful hole and gutter that is heading out to sea, and you can position your burley so that it's getting washed around and just heading straight out that super highway, bringing the fish in. This evening, the conditions I have here are not totally ideal. I actually have, behind me, there's a trough or a gutter that runs parallel to the shore and the current is going that away. So it's not actually going straight out into the deeper water. So what I've done in this instance is I've actually come up here and I've positioned my burley behind me here, but I'm fishing about 50 or 60 metres that way down the beach. The reason being is I've got my burley being dispersed here and I know that it's washing with the current down that way and all of that scent and those goodies is going to be into the zone where I'm fishing just down there. So that's the best thing I could do in this particular instance. However, I can't stress it more importantly or highly enough that where you position your burley is the most important thing so that you know that it's going exactly where your baits are and you're going to have an awesome fishing session. I actually noticed this many years ago when I was beachworming because I used pilchards in a stocking to catch beachworms and I'd go down on the, the shore and the sand at the edge of the beach waving the pilchards around and while I'm worming I'd notice schools of mullets start to swim around my legs. I'd see it attracting fish. I was actually worming one time and I was standing waiting for the water to recede. It was about 20 centimetres deep. I looked down and there was a flathead about this big sitting beside my foot. It had swum in, it had been attracted by the pilchards. So I know this works, there's absolutely no doubt. And you know, if you apply this practice, the results that you get is number one, you'll increase the number of fish that you catch. Number two, you'll increase the different species of fish also the size of fish that you catch and you can go from catching zero fish to getting a fair catch of fish or from getting a fair catch of fish to an absolute abundance of fish. So I actually really hope you get what I'm saying in this video, it is so important. This will, as I said in the beginning, it'll completely revolutionise your beach fishing. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments, please give me any questions that you have. Make sure that you check out rogersfishing.com and also please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you very soon.